In our previous videos, we spent a week in Shurgao exploring its beautiful islands. We then booked a flight to Cebu and took a ferry to the island of Bohol. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Bohol. We're here for the next two nights, but today we're actually going on a tour. We're gonna be doing a full land tour. We're actually using a new app. It's called Kluk. We found a pretty good deal, uh, $27 per person, and it's a nine hour tour. The only thing is that they told us nine o'clock was the pickup time and they knocked on our door at 8.15 and we weren't even like ready. Like you know, I'm still getting ready right now. Um, but it's a beautiful day, it's hot. We're excited. Stop, Chocolate Hills. Ready? No. It's a pretty good walk. Chocolate Hills. You know, I thought there was a lot more. They're, and they're kind of small. They're not as large as you, uh, you'd expect it to be. There are actually 1,776 yeah, hills. Good. And that's kind of spread all throughout. And I think over here you can only see around like 1,200. Yeah. But um, the reason why it's called Chocolate Hills is during the summertime. The top of the hills, because they're just filled with green grass, the top of the hills, um, they dry out and they turn brown, and that's where it looks like chocolate pieces. All right, so quick update. Um, so far this tour is really not going the way that that was planned. From the beginning, them knocking on the door, and then picking us up, and then we went to like this one location and had to wait for other people. So the tour didn't really start until 10, and then, like we said, our first stop was Chocolate Hills, but before that, they dropped off two people to do an ATV, because it's something that you could, I guess, do in Chocolate Hills. But that wasn't even like added to the, to the description of, of the itinerary. So everyone was pretty much like no except for two people, which is fine. But then they dropped us off at, at the Chocolate Hills and they said they'll be back in an hour. That was at like 10.30ish. Right now it's 12 o'clock and we still have like four more other locations. The close of this tour ends at 4 p.m and it's already 12 o'clock. It does not take one hour to, to look at Chocolate Hills. Supposedly what we have next is going to see a man-made forest. We're gonna go see um, these uh, creatures that are very popular on the island. I don't know been, how to say the name. Then we have a, a river cruise where we're gonna have lunch. All right, so finally the van comes. And it started to bring his pouring. What's the name of the creatures here? Tap tap tellable. Tajirs. Gone. Crazy. Boring. Boring. Ah. I'm not gonna use the. This is so weird. How is this the way? Where's the tour guide? You're gonna be the new tour guide. Okay. So these are rocks ah. spelled out in the hall. stopped but those animals are really really cute so but it was tiny. weird because so they're like four to six inches but if they're too stressed out they supposedly, die they commit suicide yeah supposedly that's what they say yeah and then like you were out you were allowed to go inside the cage and like you know people are like taking photos so close very trusting weird. yeah when i got a pee be like <laughs> All right. 
Oh, so these trees were planted by students in the 50s? 1957. 1957. Um, to prevent landslides. Ah. So we're at man-made forest. That's it. See? And now, actually, there's a new law in the Philippines that um, says that after graduation, I believe, all kids have to plant a tree, which is what everyone should do. Where are we? Uh, river... Lobosta. Lunch time. That's where we are. That was the end of the tour. All in all, it was okay. We mainly wanted to come to Bohol to see the beautiful chocolate hills, and we did. Our next stop is El Nido. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.